Our Collision 2018 coverage is proudly powered by Amazon Prime. Find out all the ways you can benefit from a Prime subscription and get a 30-day free trial by going to collision.live slash prime and by audiobooks.com. Get a free trial and a free audiobook to keep at audiobooks.com using promo code TRY70. And with that, we have our first guest here. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How about you guys? Fantastic. Awesome. Go ahead and introduce yourself for us. Hi, I'm uh, Ben Reno Weber. I'm the CEO of a startup called MobileServe. Okay. What is MobileServe? Uh, we automate all of the annoying parts of volunteer engagement in community service. Okay. So if you guys want to make a difference in the community, uh, we work with your employer or your school or the nonprofits that you care about to uh, help them to engage you. So how do you know where to show up, what you're going to do, what time, uh, and then remind you that you're coming, okay. track you, create a profile that says, this is the good that I have done in the world. Oh, wow. Uh, and then we also build infographics and communications tools for the nonprofit or the companies that you're affiliated with. Interesting. Okay, so let's go through uh, an example. We'll use here in New Orleans. We'll use Habitat for Humanity. Perfect. Right. So Great organization. So uh, let's say that, for example, uh, you're the uh, uh, Loyola of New Orleans, Loino, right? So you... Uh, have students who have a service requirement or as part of their program or sure. just want to make the world a better place. Sure. So Bueno is a client of ours. They are amazingly active. They've done thousands of hours of service in the community. One of the places that they do service is Habitat for Humanity. Awesome. So for the school, we track those requirements. The students log in. When they go to Habitat, they say, I'm here. This is what I'm doing. They tell their story. They give a reflection. Uh, and then they can integrate with their social media. Right. I love working with the Smith family. Uh, it's been great to see them build this house over the course of the last couple of weeks, right? Okay. It integrates with their social media, the student social media, to tell Loino's story. Okay. Right? That's cool. Then from the Habitat side, the really annoying thing for Habitat is I need eight people from this time to this time. Right. Right? right? I don't need 12 people. I don't need six people. I need eight people. Right. 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 So, and they know the people who can show up. Uh, and so they blast out like, hey, okay, this is the house. Uh, eight people, you RSVP through our system. They okay. say it's due to a reminder, but this is the fun part, right? So afterwards, Habitat or Loino, maybe both, get a profile of you, right? Oh, you're incredibly active. One of the things for Habitat is once someone has shown up once, mm -hmm. right? I show up with my company. I show up with my school. How do I engage that person to show up again? Right. Right. right so we gamify that. Okay. Uh, so we make it so that they can say, oh, you know, tell me your name again. Nikia. Nakia? Yes. Yeah. Right. So, Nakia, you have been the most valuable volunteer for the month of April. I want to recognize you. I want to stick your face on my social media, which is good for you. You're like, oh, I, I feel really good about that. But also, your friends and network see that. They're like, oh, Nakia's doing that? I could do that, too. Which is good for Habitat and good for Loino. And I'm going to beat him. And, right, exactly. Exactly. I'm going to be more good. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, it's, so, this is why our, our tagline is do good. Right? I'm, okay. I'm going to go. I, if he's doing it, I'm going to do it. Right. We, we kind of have that <laughs> going on with a, l a lot of the companies we talk to. We, <laughs> we, we one up each other <laughs> on all kinds of well, collision that's, platforms. So and thing. that's great because in this case, we're using that one-upsmanship to, to help the community, yeah. to help nonprofits, to do good in our community, yeah. which is great. And, you know, the funny thing is people are like, oh, I, you know, I wish I knew where to volunteer. Yeah. Right? Right. I wish I knew how to make a difference. Well, I'm going to be totally straightforward. That's complete crap. <laughs> right? If yeah. you cared, you'd Google it. Yeah, yeah, you'll find it. Right. But that's not what stops people from volunteering. What stops people from volunteering is nobody has said, hey, come with me. Yeah. Let's go to this thing at this specific time, yeah. and I can see somebody who looks like me, who I'm connected to yeah. doing that. That's what actually makes me volunteer. Right. You A like direct kittens, personal connection. That's it. Yeah. And so we automate that. Okay. Because no volunteer coordinator has the time to do that. They don't. Fair right? enough. Nonprofit space. And it's not really good enough for the organization to do that outreach by themselves. Right. What yeah. they really need is for you to say to him, hey, dirtbag. I'm going out here on Saturday. That's how I talked to him, actually. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, I got that vibe from you guys. <laughs> That's great. So for you, where did this come from? Why did you decide this is the thing I needed to do? So I was a nonprofit CEO. Okay. So once upon a time, I was corporate. I left that to go run. Uh, actually, it was running a YMCA education program. So I was a CEO okay. of, a, of an ed program in Kentucky. 
and we really struggled to engage our volunteers. Sure. We had all these students going out into the world doing amazing things, uh, many of whom are actually here in New Orleans, and I've run into a couple. Awesome. Uh, and then we had all these adult volunteers coming in to mentor, but I had no tools for engaging them. Okay. So we built a very simple, uh, very beta prototype actually sure. over a weekend. My co-founder was one of our volunteers. Oh, wow. Right? Awesome. Yeah. And so he was like, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm going to be the first boots on the ground for this. Uh, so that's how we got started. Okay. So what kind of I, – I work with a both a very small and a very large nonprofit. Yeah. Um, so what kind of scale do we have in this? If I'm looking for two people for an outreach event or I need – um, 125 for a robotics competition. Are they? Yeah. Can I cover both Absolutely. of those? Absolutely. Okay. Super easy. The robotics competition. So two people, a couple of pieces. We do an integration with a group called Volunteer Match. Okay. So if you post an opportunity on Volunteer Match, you can find it in our system. Nice. Uh, which is great. Uh, and they're amazing. So in that case, first stuff has almost certainly shown up in the system. Right. <laughs> uh, and so, you know, you need two people. Great. Those two people, you probably know who they are. Mm -hmm. The real trick with the two people is not, oh, I just need two people one time. Mm -hmm. The real thing is how do I turn those people into the ambassadors for my right. cause? Right. 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 So we help you to do that. You can invite them. Then you say to them, hey, here's the event. Send this out to your networks. Mm -hmm. Then when those people sign up, you know that they care about some of the same things that you care about. Right. Right. The robotics competition is actually, we're totally built for that. Awesome. So I need... You know, four people to judge this event from this time to this time. I need 50 people to set up. And you need to know who those people are. You also yeah. need to be able to communicate with them. Right. So, oh, That's man, for sure. it's raining out. So we're going to move the, you know, this thing into this session. Uh, hey, reminder to everybody the day before, be sure to bring your screwdriver. I don't know. what Closed toed shoes, whatever. Yeah. yeah. What's, I don't safety know, what, glasses. Safety glasses. There you have go. To, have to have safety <laughs> glasses anywhere near the field. And your pens, <laughs> like whatever it is. Yeah. So that. So we started with, with that kind of stuff. Uh, and most of our clients at this point are schools and universities. Okay. Uh, we've got about 150 clients and then uh, nonprofits are about 20%. And then we have just started doing work in the aging care space and the court system space. Oh, wow. Nursing homes. Okay. Right. Huge number of people going into some kind of managed care facility. Sure. Right. Nursing homes have between 50 and 150 volunteers who come. They help with meals. They sure. do magic. They teach classes. They do bring their uh, companion dogs. Right. Yeah. No technology the, the platforms help them to engage them. The superhero groups they come yeah, out and, yeah exactly sure. you know and and for those people in the facilities they want something meaningful to engage them. Okay, that makes sense. Right? Court systems. Court-ordered community service. Oh. I tagged I bridge. I might have done some nonviolent drug offense. Sure. Uh, judge doesn't want to throw me in jail. That's right. expensive. It's wasteful. And I probably don't deserve that. Same time, they want to hold me a little bit accountable. Right. right. So we sit somewhere between an ankle bracelet and a forged piece of paper. <laughs> Interesting. So that's been the, the it's been a fun adventure growing yeah. from this little we were gonna be a lifestyle business to <laughs> oh we're gonna do this thing to now we've got about six hundred and fifty K in revenue. We're wow. just hired our seventh employee. Wow. So that's really we're cool. It's it's so interesting to to hear about you said between the ankle bracelet and the forged piece of paper. I, you have I, some experience with this? I built the, share with the internet. I built the tracking system for the ankle bracelets. Oh, there you go. Wait. <laughs> So, I was on that side, you're in the <laughs> middle, and the thing on the left is the thing that doesn't work. Yeah. So, yeah. that's awesome. No, it's been, it's been, well, so, you know, the thing is, we built the accountability systems, and we have the most robust accountability system in the market right now that's not an ankle bracelet. Right. Uh, we built it for fraternity and sorority guys. I am, uh, I would like to verify that you are doing the community service at Habitat that you said you were doing in order to meet our campus requirement. Right. Okay. Right. Fair enough. And then we found these other applications for that. And it, it's always interesting when you build a thing with a purpose in mind, and then somebody else says, "Hey, we could use that for." Yeah. Wow. Yeah. If given a hundred years, I wouldn't have come up with that. <laughs> we wouldn't have either. Uh, but somebody pointed it out to us. It actually came to us. Yeah. That's kind of fun. That's that's great. So, from a from a business standpoint, 
where what is your revenue model how does this work for you because i want you to stay in business yeah so <laughs> it's a b2b sale okay uh so i am alpha sigma alpha giant sorority it's got six thousand uh young women who are doing an amazing amount of good in the world okay right so they pay us an annual subscription fee okay uh in order to make their lives easier so they, okay. they distribute it to every chapter they tell all of their new users hey okay it's the fall come on they get an email or an organization code. They onboard. Our relationship is with the individual user. Mm -hmm. So they pay us basically for access to the user's data. And we will visualize that for them. We'll build reports for each chapter that they're, they have. Okay. Each chapter gets its own dashboard so they can do their own events. Okay. And then the upper, uh, the, the, the master group gets to see everything. Okay. okay. Uh, but so let's say when that young woman graduates and goes to work somewhere else, she already has a mobile serve account. And so when and so all of her history of her history volunteering, there, exactly. okay, and she could even include that profile as part of her resume. Interesting, you should mention that. So we have a service resume that we build for you. Awesome. So let's say you're a, you have kids or you're a you're a sixth grader, right? Your parents are paying attention. Probably at some point, uh, you're gonna want to apply to college. Mm -hmm. We will track all of the community engagement that you've done from sixth grade through college. Okay. And then when you're applying in your essay, you're not like, oh, yeah, that one time I did a thing at the Humane Society, and it was cool, and it was a clothing drive. You're like, oh, no. You know, in fact, 70% of my service over the last four years has been with animals. Right. And that's why, fill in the blank, college essay, like, I care so passionately about being a biology major. Right. So that I could be a veterinarian. Right, right. And you should give me a full scholarship. <laughs> because of the animals. Because the animals. of the animals. <laughs> right. No, it makes sense. Perfect. And if you're a corporate, you know, you want to recognize and reward. Millennials are 50% of the workforce right now. Right. And we know all the data says that it's all about recognition. want to work for and align with brands that align with their values. Yeah. Right. right? So I can say, you know, this bank uh, does this engagement in the community. That's why I bank there instead of a chase. Right. Exactly. Okay. And so... Can we also see profiles on the companies themselves? So it's all, it's all we, we protect their data, So, but the companies okay. can say, you know, we've done X number of okay. hours. So they could share the infographics and yep. stuff that are produced exactly. and say, this is what we're doing yep. right. in the wild. And particularly for small and mid-sized companies, you know, bigger companies, they have a corporate social responsibility person, right. maybe a department. Small companies don't have that. Right. They want to do it. Uh, but it you know falls but they can't on bring somebody in to do that yeah. full time. That would be right a Crazy. huge expenditure. So it ends up falling on some HR person to do it, and uh -huh. if we can take the time off that HR right. person's plate. You know that's who ends up buying us. It's like okay. you know Keurig, the coffee machine. Sure. Right. So the, the buyer of Keurig was always with the corporate space before they went retail was always the office manager mm -hmm. because offices were always complaining about the coffee. Right. 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 So this person's like, let's make your own dang coffee. Right. Exactly. That's what we do for community engagement. We're okay. like, oh, listen, we're going to let empower the employees to build their own events, to invite people to do stuff. You know, and if it's the HR person planning a day of service, we take care of all the annoying parts of that. So all he or she has to do is be like, hey, guys, click this link. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's I, fun. Do well, do good. <laughs> I, Like I said, having been in, actively involved in several organizations, it managing the... Just managing the volunteers is insane. I, I would like to help you manage your robotics conference. So I'm like, I'm gonna give you my card. Yes. And uh, let's let's follow up when this is over. A absolutely, because an average, an average first robotics competition uh, is, what do you think, Michelle? Hundred is 125 volunteers per event. For, yes. for the standard ones and for, like, yes. the big regionals, it's 250 or so. And then once you qualify people in the things that they like, let's say you got your judges, right, mm -hmm. or your I'm on a, I'm mentors. I don't know. What are the kinds of volunteers you need? Both of those. <laughs> um, field reset, because after every match, all of the pieces have to go back together. That's a real pain. Yeah. Field refs, people so, to just so sit in the, the lounge and deal with the kids as they have questions. That. Just all kinds of stuff. You could put people into these into little subgroups, and then let's say you only want to reach out to your judges. Mm -hmm. Let's say you do more than one event, sure, or in the course of a year, yeah. And you want to be able to say, like, here's our ten most valuable volunteers, mm -hmm. right? But you don't have time for that. No. Right now, it's an Excel spreadsheet. Probably. It email. 
email Sounds list about right. that goes out to everybody. And then, like, yeah, I could be there, but I have to go to lunch at this time. And, you know, all that goes off your plate. You get to focus on the kids, uh-huh. the things that you care about. Yeah, absolutely. I, we're definitely going to talk about this. Awesome. Terry, if you're watching, we're going to be using this for Roboticon this it's year. It's called Mobile Surf. <laughs> Mobile uh, Surf, spelled like your mom would want you to spell it, all with all of the correct <laughs> letters. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> I was I was just going to ask, if people oh want man. more information about your platform, Mobile how surf, can they get that? Mobile Surf, there uh, after both Mobile and Surf, all one word. The app itself is free, so you just okay. want to use it like Fitbit, like I'm a decent person and I want to track my community engagement. Download the app right now. Okay. Uh, and then your organization will we, we affiliate with you later. You can say, "Oh, I'm part of this." You could also be part of multiple organizations. Okay. So the app is free. The app is free. A really important question. Yeah, the app is free. Is this app only on iPhone? No, or is there it's, Android a, it was, it's a web wrapped Android, so okay. it's not native, but it's doesn't no, it's need good. to be on it's Android. Not like but Android. it's available. It's available. Mobile serve, spelled like your mom would want you to spell it. Dot com. I love that. On all the stores. And then for organizations, that's where when we build those infographics, when we set up your sure. dashboard, when we give you the communications profiles, that's what people pay for. Got it. But it's also supposed cool. to be a pretty easy decision. It sounds like it's just going awesome. work for us. Yeah, for sure. I'm so excited about this. Awesome. Really appreciate you taking the time to come oh, talk thanks, to guys. us today. Thanks. Conference is awesome. Hopefully Collision will be a success for you. Yeah. It's been pretty fun so far. Good. Thanks Good. a lot. Yep. Thank you.